Hi everybody, this is Julian from Hugging Face. This is the first of a series of three videos where I'll focus on training a vision transformer model on Amazon SageMaker. You're certainly familiar with uh, using transformers for natural language processing tasks. But in fact, um, thanks to the vision transformer, we know that we can also use transformer models for computer vision tasks like image classification. And this is exactly what we're gonna do here. So in the first video, we're going to build a data set using images stored in S3. Uh, in the second video, we'll use this data set to train a vision transformer model using the Hugging Face container on Amazon SageMaker, and we'll use the, the trainer API from the transformers library. And in the third video, we'll train again using the Hugging Face container and SageMaker, but this time we'll use PyTorch Lightning, uh, which is uh, a very popular PyTorch addition that makes it pretty easy to train models. So just another way to do it. Okay, let's get started. First of all, we need a data set. And uh, to keep it simple, I'm going to grab the uh, dogs versus cats data set from Kaggle, and we're going to um, download it and extract it locally. And we're going to keep uh, just 10% of the data set to keep that demo and that training time. Um, pretty short, but you could certainly use more images. Okay, so you can see the script here, um, nothing really difficult, extract the data set, move all the dog images to a folder, move all the cat images to another folder, and then basically um, keep only um, 1,250 images from each class and uh, sync that to an S3 bucket. Okay, I'll include the script in the repo. Uh, again, nothing really complicated here, right? So once uh, once we've done that, what we have is an S3 bucket where we have at the root one um, prefix per class, okay? So obviously cat includes all the cat images and dog includes all the dog images, okay? So that's uh, the assumption that I make on uh, on my data, and this is what my uh, um, data set script um, expects. Okay, so pretty typical one prefix with uh, all the class images under it. Okay, so let's go and take a look at the script. So, so let's take a look at the high level process, and then we can look at the the individual functions. Okay, so this is my SageMaker processing script. Uh, and here's the uh, the entry point, the main function. So the script will receive arguments, the bucket, um, the prefix, um, the list of classes that are present in the data set. So in this case, it's going to be uh, it's going to be uh, uh, an array with uh, two classes, dog and cat, right? And I could also pass the name of the model that I want to use, right? Which vision transformer model do I want to use? So you receive those arguments, extract them. And my first step is going to be to read all those images in S3 directly and uh, figure out what the label is and store the images in a Python dictionary. I'll have two keys in the dictionary, um, the NumPy array storing the image bytes and um, the, the label, uh, so the class index 0 or 1, OK? And we'll look at how this works. So once I've got this dictionary, then I can use this convenient from dict API in the data sets library, applying the features, uh, so the labels and the image uh, to the to the data set. And this is going to be a hugging face data set object from my in memory dictionary. Okay. And the next step is, of course, to um, extract features from the images and I'm using the vision transformer feature extractor for that. And what this really does, it's uh, adding a new feature called pixel values to uh, to the data set. Um, and of course, since I'm working with a hugging face data set, I can use the map API to apply um, the pre-processing function that will extract the features using that extractor, okay? And once we've done that, so we have this extra feature in the data set, we split the data set in three bits, train 
validation and test, and we save them as hugging face data sets to well-known locations inside the StageMaker processing container, and that container will automatically uh, move them to, uh, to S3, okay? Right, so that's the high-level process. Load the images in the dictionary, um, use the feature extractor to add pixel values, um, and then split and save, okay? So let's zoom in on, on the individual functions here. So building the image dictionary starts from an empty dictionary, and we paginate uh, the objects that live in that bucket because you can only list a thousand objects in a go. Uh, and well, we have more than that. So we need to iterate on the pages and for each object in each page, we load it uh, from S3 as an empire array. We figure out its label and then we add it both to the dictionary. Okay. How do we load the object? Uh, well, we read it as um, a byte stream, which we open with the Python image library. Uh, we resize the image to 224, 224, which is what the vision transformer expects, okay? If your images already have the right size, of course, you can ignore that step. I convert the image to a NumPy array, and then I um, move the channels uh, to the first position because I'm going to use PyTorch for training and that's what PyTorch expects, right? These are um, color images with three channels, red, green, and blue. So uh, we want to make sure that the channels, uh, so that three dimension, red, green, blue, is the first dimension of the, of the, of the array, right? And well, unfortunately, the Python image library does it in the opposite direction, right? So channels last which is why I need to move the axis first, okay? So that's how you load uh, an image from S3. Figuring out the label is super simple because of course the, the, uh, the, the key for the image contains dog or cat. So we can, uh, we can split that, uh, um, that key. We can find um, the, 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 the dog cat position. And then obviously, uh, since we have the list of classes, we can find the the label, which is just the index of dog or cat in the in the class list, right? So zero or one, pretty much. And that's how we do it, right? Um, so nothing uh, nothing really complicated here. Uh, and yeah, the pre-processing function is um, is just what you would expect. So uh, starting from a batch of uh, of images stored in the data set. Um, we uh, apply the feature extractor and we add that new feature called pixel values. Okay, so I guess that's the, the canonical way to, um, to work and to process hogging phase data set. Use that map API with a function. Okay, so now let's see how we run this using SageMaker processing. SageMaker processing is really super simple. Um, we used a built-in container. Uh, in this case, I'll use the uh, sklearn processor. Uh, you can use uh, PySpark if you want it, and uh, if you want it to distribute uh, computations, you, that makes it very easy, but here, I guess I don't need that. Uh, so I'll just stick to uh, my good friend sklearn processor, uh, passing my infrastructure requirements. So I just need a bit of memory on the, on the instance because I'm going to load all those images. So I'm going to go with M4, uh, M5 for Excel. That should be more than enough. But um, you can go bigger. Uh, you can use uh, larger M5s. You can use uh, very large R5 instances. So if you really need to load tons of data, uh, you can go and just change the instance type. And, uh, and you should be fine, right? And then um, I'm just going to run this uh, processor object passing my image processing script, which we just looked at. It doesn't have, it doesn't have an input per se. Uh, the input is really defined by the bucket and, uh, and the prefix and the list of classes. Um, and it has three outputs because as we saw, we have three splits for the data set, the training data, the validation data, and the test data, right? That's it, super nice. Uh, we just run this cell and we can see a bit of a logging here. So we're installing the transformers library and certainly the data set library. Okay. And we can see we load images and then we build a data set. 
we extract features. So here we see we're downloading the feature extractor for the vision transformer model we selected. Then we split the data set and we see we'll have 2000 images for training and 250 for validation, 250 for test, right? And then we just save them. And all of that took nine minutes, right? And I can visualize uh, the actual location of those outputs, right? So I see all three of are living in that same uh, S3 prefix. And if I list that, uh, well, obviously I see my training data set and we see the familiar arrow file uh, and the same for the validation data set and the test data set, okay? So that's the, that's the end of this first video. So now we have a data set um, in S3, a hugging face data set. And in the next video, I'll show you how to uh, train a model using this data set and the, the trainer API in the transformers library. Okay, so keep watching.